So I'll be back to you. Now listen, uh, now I can't trust atheists. I can't trust anyone uh, who can't say that lying is wrong because you might be lying. Wait, wait, wait. You might be lying. Can't trust them. You can be an atheist still have morals. Right? See, God doesn't believe. No, no, no. To claim you have morals is like saying yellow is right and blue is wrong. If morality is subjective, you can't claim any are absolutely right or wrong. Listen to this. I, I want to test the atheist. I want to test you. I'm going to quote a famous evolutionist. And uh, you tell me who said it. You should know. This guy, these are people you should know. Alright, listen to this. What's to prevent us from saying Hitler wasn't right? I mean, that's a genuinely difficult question. End of quote. Who said that? Dawkins! Dawkins! You should know that. How about this one? What a hate monger! How about this one? Evolution has been observed. It just hasn't been observed while it's happening. It just hasn't been observed while it's happening. Who read, said that? read that one more time. What? Read, read that quote one more time. Evolution has been observed. It just hasn't been observed while it's happening. I'll give you another clue. He also said this. We don't need evidence. We know it to be true. <laughs> you know who said that? Richard Dawkins, your favorite atheist in mine. <laughs> I've got one, I, I, I've got another one. Who said this? I don't want to believe in God, therefore I choose to believe in that which I know is scientifically impossible. Spontaneous generation arising to evolution. Who said that? Some mindless ignoramus. That's, that's right, it was George Wald, the Nobel Prize winner, said that. Now here's a good one. You guys are gonna like this. Here's a good one. <clears throat> Thus, the weak members of civilized societies propagate their kind. No one who has attended to the breeding of domestic animals will doubt that this must be highly injurious can you, can you to man. Who said that? Is your wife a child? Darwin said that. Darwin said isn't that. that. Isn't that? Now listen to this. What? Just one more. No, one I'm more. asking you questions. You atheists, you evolutionists aren't going very good. I haven't got it. I don't know what you're fucking question. saying. Can you tell me about your child wife? One more. Wife? If, for example, a single like? individual of a certain race were to enter into union with a racially lower individual, the result would be first a lowering of the standard. Standard. Further, it would mean a weakening of the offspring. Who said that? A racist bigot. Who was it? Hitler. Hitler was <laughs> motivated by evolution. I bet you didn't learn that. And Margaret Sanger. He wanted to create oh the God. Aryan race. Gary, you're not fucking not you teaching you that? What's the matter? Is the education getting to you? No, Calm no, down, atheist. Remind, remember, all is meaningless. Count to ten. Calm all yourself. Let's have sex with our children. Oh, Let's have sex with our God children. God doesn't exist, That's and I right. really hate oh, him. Oh, we love little oh, girls. Oh, there's no proof of God. Let's go look for aliens. You guys put down the D&D, move out of your mom's basement, put down the pot. It's time to grow oh, up. Yeah. You look like you're all girls, scientists, and Christians. Yes. Also, we're... Oh, oh, oh let me get this straight. Hey, you've been drinking bottom water Let me get this straight. There's an advanced civilization out there, and we're going to find them. How come they didn't find us? Let me guess, they came to the earth, and they crashed. Right, right. I was not always this loving person. You're not loving us. The person that you love. Hey, I'm just reading evolution. You call me unloving? What bigots? I read from the Quran. You call me unloving? Islamophobes. Now listen. I used to be wicked. I asked you a question several times. Let me tell you about myself. Let me tell you about myself. I was born an innocent baby. Yeah. I was not born a sinner. I call this You were not born sinners either. Right there, right there. You Jeremiah. Were born right there. Innocent babies. Sin is a choice. Sin is not a sin. You're choosing to sin by having sex with Sin is a choice. You become a sinner by choice. It's true.
road. You're not sinners by birth. You choose your son. It's inevitable to be a sinner. Why do you sin? It's a choice. It's right there on the banner. Yeah, you see, you see your sin. Sin is unnatural. When you get drunk, you get drunk and you start to vomit. That's your body reminding you that you weren't designed for alcohol. That's why they call it intoxication. You are poisoning your body. He's got a question. He's not educated to answer. Don't worry about it. Is it about alcohol? No, no, no. I know he's not. Is it about the matter? Is it about the No, no. So you're saying you're not born a sinner, right? That's right. Not born a sinner. So hold up. If you're not born a sinner, then why in the Bible does it repeatedly say that we are constantly born into sin? No, no, it does not. It does not say that? No, can you give me that? What? Hold up, I'll look it up right now. Uh-oh, he's going to throw Psalm 51.5 at you. He's going to pull up Psalm 52 for 51.5. 58. And Ephesians 2. And Ephesians 2. Exactly. And how about the verse that says, not, not a simple man is good. Not, I'm good. Uh, good. Good by choice, not by birth. No, no. Yes. no. You see, in Psalm 58, he said, all the wicked, are, they're born wicked from birth, speaking lies. You don't speak no, I have a different job. Right now. This is metaphor. See, if you were born sinful and you had to sin, you would be poor, innocent victims. No, you wouldn't be criminals, but God judges you as... as excuse me, sir, back off. Don't, 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 there is no expectation of privacy in a public I'm sector. A nun and I don't even believe in that. Law. Why are you? You're not allowed to touch him. You touch me, I will fall charge you. Uh, go ahead. I'm not Thank violating you. the law. You are. Actually, you are. Now listen. Now, if you were a sinner by birth, you would have an excuse. Yeah, God would be wrong to condemn you. Rather, you are criminals against God. You're not helpless victims. You are culpable for your sins because you willingly chose what was wrong, knowing what was right, and having every ability to do right. That's why you deserve hell. That's why you deserve hell. So wait, up, hold up, wait, 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 So how, how do I, how do I, uh, forget my unborn child? I need to be a scholar. Uh, the unborn child, I just said. I know, I, what no shit? I, I mean, like, standing uh, tall. So how do I stop him? Uh, no, he has to make the choice. You teach him right, he has to choose. You have to choose. I'm right sorry, I'm not that you tall, know, guys. And it's up to you, that's why right. sinners deserve him. See, when you, uh, smoke marijuana, and you're puffing on the wacky tobacco, and you're holding it in, you're <laughs> Something that God made you are happen. trying. Your lungs are trying to reject the smoke. You are not. All right. What's the question? All right, we've got fake Christians, and we've been doing it wrong. We're not getting through. We're not getting through to them. A lot of the fake Christians have like a children's church level of Bible understanding. Yeah. And so we're going to have to try to mix it up a little bit. Yeah. You're about to. We're going to see if we can get through to the fake. Fake Christians, you're going to hell! Introduce Yay! him! Introduce him! Introduction! Wait, introduction! This is Pierre the Sock Puppet, the Hellfire Preacher. Yeah. You're on your way to hell! Yay! That's not all! Now we're going to sing some camp songs! He does, he does a lot of tongue in cheek stuff He's to get people's attention. So, uh, I'm going to sing your favorite. Join along. Humor is a great communication device. Uh, all right, if you know the words, join in. And, I mean, you, are in you, are in you are an S. S. You are an S I N N E R. That's a sinner. Then you have S I N. You send down in your H E A R T, and God will find you hand and foot, and you will weep in that shit. You need some C. You need some C. You need some C O M B I C T I. Won't you lament and mourn and weep and let your laughter turn to gloom? Go sin no more. Cause when you do, you are God's E N E M Y. You don't want to be God's E N E M Y. Yeah. Open your crons. No, Jimbo. Jimbo. Jim over there with that sign. He'll have a conversation with you. All right. I've got some test questions. Test me. Find out if you're an Islamophobe. <clears throat> dog owners. Do we have dog owners in the crowd. Loud and 
unloving. Okay, that's one Islamophobic point. Oh, really? My As Muhammad Islamic, said, bro. Muhammad said that all dogs must be killed. This is in Hadith, Muslim, Book 10, Book 10, number 3811. Don't take my word for it. Muhammad said all dogs must be killed. But wait, there's more. Do any of you have a black dog? A black dog. Muhammad said. A black dog is a devil. Muhammad said a black dog is a devil. So if you don't want to be an Islamophobe, get rid of your... Hey, are you calling Muhammad racist? That's two Islamophobic points. Two Islamophobic points. Just because Muhammad had black slaves, there's no reason to risk being Islamophobe. The Old Testament, like you don't, you don't really need the Old Testament anymore, right? Jesus died on the cross for our sins. So thou shalt not kill doesn't apply anymore. Muhammad said the devil looks like a black man. Don't risk being Islam an Islamophobe by calling him racist. Wait, wait, wait. Don't risk. Now some people say that Jesus was racist because. Some people say that Jesus was racist. Who said it? Who said that? Because of Jesus. Jesus once said that an Ethiopian's head looked like a raisin. And? No way. No way. No, I'm sorry. That was Muhammad. I'm, I'm sorry. That was Muhammad. Anyway, how many of you voted for Hillary? Honestly, I'm, I regret it. Uh, or would have voted for Hillary if you've been old enough. I don't know. Anybody for Bernie Sanders? That's another Islamophobic point. Islamophobic point because Muhammad said never in Bukhari 9, Book 9, Volume 88, 219, Muhammad said never will a nation succeed that has a woman as its leader. That's one Islamophobic point. Don't blame me. I'm not the Islamophobe. I'm not the Islamophobe. I'm reading the Islamic sources. Now, Muhammad said, if you have braces, if you pluck your eyebrows, if you have a weave, Muhammad said, curses be upon you. Curses for changing the natural features Allah gave you. Unless you dye your hair, that's okay. Unless you dye your hair. Because the Jews and the Christians don't dye their hair, Muhammad said, so you can dye your hair. That'll be okay. Are you are you Muslim? I am not an Islamophobe. I educate you on the ways of Islam. I fight Islamophobia! Fight Islamophobia! Fight Islamophobia! Islamophobia. <laughs> this is Fight Islamophobia Day on WCU. <laughs> Those of you drinking bottled water, that's an, is that's an Islamophobic point. Muhammad said, Muhammad and his companions drank water that had uh, excrement, dead dogs, menstrual claws, because Muhammad said, Allah has said, water can never never be made impure. Now does Allah know about microbiology or what? Huh? Mix it with rainwater. Now, now some of you, I know, some of you say that a sneeze is from the devil. You bunch of, you bunch of crazy Islamophobes, you think a sneeze is from the devil. An involuntary response, like a sneeze, could come from the devil. No, Muhammad said a yawn. A yawn is from the devil, not a sneeze. A yawn is from the devil. Allah is very pleased with the sneeze. The med students knew it. Get it right, Islamophobe. Fight the yawn. Go with the sneeze. Fight the yawn. Go with the sneeze. Hey, 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 there's good news for the Islamophobes. You don't have to stay Islamophobes. Muhammad Muhammad has given you the answer. You can erase your Islamophobic points. Right here, you can erase it. <laughs> Some of you guys.